Hey guys, it's time for another perfect neutral eye tutorial and I promised this one to you a while ago. So I'm finally using the Laura Mercier Artist Palette for Eyes. Mine is from when it was first released. The packaging, the outer packaging has changed now, but this is still available on Sephora. I will link it down below for you. I will also list and link everything else on my face as well. So if you're curious about the lips or the blush or anything else, you can find that information down there. But today I'm going to show you my favorite look that I have come up with from this palette. And it is a plummy, purple, fun kind of, I guess for me purples also signify kind of the start of fall because they're just more like jewel type tones. So for me, this is a very fall appropriate look, <laughs> um, but I love it. Uh, pardon my hair today. I think I used a little bit too much hair powder to get some oomph and it's, it's, yeah, it just, it's a little bit out of control, but we're just going to go with it. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy this perfect neutral eye tutorial. As always, leave me any questions down below and let me know if you have this palette and what your thoughts are on it. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Alrighty, let's go ahead and recreate this on this eye. First thing I'm going to do is take a fluffy brush and I'm going to go into the color Vanilla Nuts, which by the way, every time I say that, I want to giggle just a little bit. I don't know why. I'm taking this on a fluffier brush and I am going to be applying this over my eye primer. So this is a base essentially for me. And I'm going to take that all the way up to the brow and it brightens the eye area up really nicely and it's going to help us blend the rest of the shadows. And I'm actually also going to take just a little bit of it underneath my eyes as well. This is a really pretty creamy matte that is just ever so slightly satin, you could say. Um, hang on, I'm just going to put my phone on the floor here. Uh, it's ever so slightly satin, but it, j it just looks so pretty on the eyes. I love that. Okay, next I'm going to go into the color Plum Smoke, which is this shade right here. And I'm taking that on a crease brush, and I'm going to be using that as my transition shade. Now these shadows are a little bit powdery, so make sure you tap off a little bit of that excess so that you don't have a ton of fallout. And I'm going to place that where I want it first. The majority of the product is on the outer corner of my eye, but I am working it in kind of, I guess, like a semi-circle. I'm going up much higher on the inner corner of my eye than I do normally but um, I'm just trying something a little bit different in terms of shape of shadow. I normally like to go higher on the outer portion only and keep the inner corner area just much tighter in the crease, if that makes sense. So blend that until you're happy with the way that that looks. Per all of my tutorials, I really like a soft gradient, so I spend a little bit more time blending. Next, I'm going to go into the color Violet Ink, which is this really deep royal purple. Is that a cat fur? There's a cat fur in my shadow. Sorry, gross. Okay. So this one's really pigmented, so definitely be careful with your placement. Um, yikes, see, it's just like, it's there. <laughs> and with this one, I'm not gonna take it quite all the way in, but I'm taking it in a lot further than what I normally do. I'm also bringing this down onto my lid on the outer third of my lid space. I'm just going to take a little bit more to bring down onto that lid. I'm 
I love purple with green eyes. That's, I think, honestly, like my favorite um, color on my particular eye color is purple. I just think it looks so pretty. But it has to be the right shade of purple. Like it can't, I don't really like the electric, like crazy bright purples. I like more of the like royal, more jewel tone purples, I guess. Okay, next I'm going to go into Fresco, which is this shade right here. And all the shades that I'm using for the most part today are um, mattes from the palette. And I'm taking that onto the brush that I used with the Vanilla Nuts, and I'm going to go around the upper part of my crease to help blend and make that gradient that I want going up to my brows. Grab a little bit more of the vanilla nuts and then put that just above where you left off with the fresco. Again, just to have that gradient. Okay, I'm going to take my finger into the color Primrose, which is actually a satin finish, and I'm going to put that on the um, inner two thirds of my lid. I've been doing this a ton lately with my lid shades. It's just applying them with my finger because I think I just get the best color payoff that way. Obviously wash your hands before you start doing your makeup because you don't want to transfer any bacteria into your eyeshadows. So cleanliness is super important if you're gonna stick your fingers into your eyeshadows. And then I did go back on this side with just a pointed brush and packed on just a little bit more. sure it matches. <laughs> Lastly, I'm going to take a flat definer brush into the color Violet Ink again. Was it Violet Ink that I used? Yes, it was. Or was it Plum Smoke? Oh my gosh, you guys, I totally forgot what I... No, it was Violet Ink. Okay. <laughs> this is the trouble with doing tutorials. Sometimes I'm like, okay, I did this, this, and this. I need to start just writing it down. Anyway, I'm using that to line my lower lash line. My favorite joke is that I can't even remember what I had for breakfast, um, and it's it's true. I don't remember. I had breakfast, I think, like an hour ago, and I still don't know what the hell I ate, but I know there's food in my stomach. <laughs> I have the worst memory. Ever since I gave birth to Stella, like, I think I just gave her all of, like, my memory brain cells like they she ha she remembers everything like I ask her where my phone is constantly and she's like you left it in the kitchen <laughs> she's she's very she has one of those like photographic memories which is awesome I'm gonna t brush away the little bit of excess that I have with just a fluffy brush and then I'm going to go ahead and go into the color Espr espresso bean with a angled brush and I'm going to use that as my liner. This is a really deep, intense, like dark, dark chocolatey brown. And um, I realize that I'm totally in the way right now, but I have to like get this started and then I'll move my hand. Um, this is a really great liner shade because it is so deep and dark and pigmented. is always the hardest for me to do is liner because I'm not used to doing it at the angle that I'm doing it for just try to stay away from the camera and I'm getting a ton of fallout right now <laughs> Here we go. all right I am going to get this brush just a little bit wet and then intensify that liner and I'm just using what I have left of my MAC Fix Plus. Mm -hmm. 
I love using an eyeshadow either wet or dry as my liner because during the summer my body heat tends to really melt my liner for some reason no matter what liner I'm using um, and this keeps it on all day long I don't get that pooling on the outer corner that I can sometimes get with pencil liners so this works great for me okay that's probably going to be as good as it gets for right now so I'm going to go ahead and put on my mascara I'm using the Tarte Tardis mascara everything else that I've used on my face will obviously be listed down below for you including this lip combo which I'm sure you're probably going to ask about so the information will be down below but I'm going to go ahead and finish this up here and then come back and show you guys the finished look we're all finished with the mascara and this is the finished eye look here this is honestly one of my favorite looks that I've done with this palette um, I've done it a few times and it's the one that I gravitate towards the most but really truly I love every single one of these eyeshadows in this palette. I feel like because of all the new things that are coming out all the time, it's easy to forget about things that we have in our collection that are really awesome and amazing, which is why I love my beauty basket system because it does force me to pull things out and just remember how much I love them. But anyway, this palette has just been amazing, and I look forward to using it for years to come because <laughs> takes us a while to get through all these things right but um, yeah I just I love this I think it's a lot of beautiful purples a lot of there's also just some good like neutrals in here this truffle color I think is one that most of you warm lovers would absolutely love but yeah just the whole thing it's perfection in my eyes I love it so and mine is like the original packaging from like when this was first released, which I want to say was either 2013 or 2014. I've definitely had this for at least two years. At least, probably three years. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.